Pisces Sun Moon Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and the soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit that subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I share here on this channel. So today, Pisces, we are going to dive into your month of August 2020. What do you need to know? What messages the angels have for you? And how can you best navigate this month? I feel like you have some decisions to make this month. Month. I think that you're going to be exploring what it is that you really want in your life, how it is that you really want to move forward. And I feel like a huge piece of this is going to be about you really getting real with yourself and setting aside fears because I feel like there are some things here that maybe are wanted or some things that you're wanting to pursue in your life or to explore in your life, but then that fear is holding you back. And then there are also things that really need to be released. There are changes that need to be made in order to allow for whatever these new things are that are trying to come in for you. So we're gonna take a peek at the cards and um, what they represent for you. First, we're gonna take a look at the overarching theme cards for the month of August. So the first card that we have here is all about choices, right? We have the Seven of Water. The Seven of Water is basically representing this concept of you needing to make some choices, you needing to decide what it is that you want, what, where it is that you want to go. I, I do feel like you need to move forward with some things this month. And um, this is all about honoring and listening to your intuitive voice because your intuitive voice is always going to be showing you what is going to be the best decision for you. So don't make your decisions out of fear, you know, out of what other people want for you to do. This is about you digging deep and, and looking within and and deciding. But this is also about not procrastinating around this you know I, I, there are time limits to certain things and sometimes we only have a, a certain time for an opening for certain things so we need to really explore this and decide what is it that I want to do here because no decision is also making a decision the next card that we have here is the king of air so this is saying to me I do feel like as much as you're going to be trying to decide what you want and what you need to clear out of your life and what you need to let go of, that there is going to be clarity of mind. The king of air for me is very much about you being the king of your own thoughts, you learning how to let go of anything that needs to be released from your life, the king or the queen of your own thoughts, you um, <clears throat> allowing yourself to... I don't know just like to just trust your your knowing it's like you have clarity now you understand now I feel like you've been shown a lot of things and, um, and now it's your job to use this clarity of mind that now has developed for you and if you don't feel fully clear yet keep going keep, you know uh, pay attention because I feel like before the end of the month you will have a better sense of what you need to do and the direction that you need to go but again you need to listen to your inner knowing you need to listen to that intuition you need to honor what it is that you really want in your life and I think if you allow that to be your guide that clarity of mind will absolutely be there and then we have the Emperor card. Okay, so the Emperor card reversed, which is what this is, says to me that maybe there's a need for a change in structure in some way, ch changing things up a little bit. Maybe the way that you've been doing things for quite some time, you know, it's just the way that you've been doing things for quite some time. It doesn't mean that it's the right way. And so what needs to be shaken up in your life? What needs to be shifted? What needs to be changed in order for you to move forward in a better and more positive way in your life? So taking a look at the structures, the systems, the habits, uh, your usual patterns and ways, and what needs to be changed? What needs to be shifted in order to allow you to achieve those things that you are wanting in your life? The last card that we have here in the theme section is the night card. And the night card for me right here is very much about you taking charge of your own life, right? And I feel like with the night energy is also a very 
rapid moving energy so I feel like once you decide it's like you need to to get on it right away you need to take action in some way right away because this is going to serve you this is going to support this path that you are wanting to go on so making sure that you take inspired relatively rapid action once you're clear on what it is that you're wanting we're gonna take a peek at the cards that are connected to the um, challenges or barriers that you might expect throughout this month. So the first one we have here is the renewal card, okay? The renewal card is really taking a good look at everything. You know, what needs to be renewed in my life? What needs to be shifted? What needs to be changed? You know, what do I need to move around? What do I need to, what habits do I need to let go of? What patterns do I need to let go of? What people maybe do I need to let go of? This is about really taking your time and exploring everything that's been going on for you, everything that you've been shown and understanding the direction that you now need to move in, okay? Because this is definitely saying it's time for you to move in, in a new direction. And while this may be uncomfortable, I think that you, through really connecting with yourself will have this clarity of mind to move in a direction that's going to be more positive for you and uh, more beneficial to you. And this may mean, again, saying no or, uh, you know, clearing some things out of your life or making some changes or letting go of habits or whatever this is. But some change is coming and maybe that's challenging for you, but I, I feel like for the long term, this is going to work out for the absolute best. This is part of the plan. This is part of your path. The next card that we have here is the King of Earth, okay? So very much like we have a King energy here. This is you feeling good, feeling uh, confident. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons here. This is you um, really finding your way becoming the king or the queen of your own life in a lot of ways. This is you um, coming back to yourself, coming back to reconnecting with the earth, uh, coming back down to earth. Maybe like you've been sort of disconnected from yourself, from your life. Maybe you've been in kind of a state of, I, I almost feel like it's like, I don't know, I felt like not fully present in my own life in some ways is what I'm feeling. And suddenly you're finding yourself becoming an active participant in your own life in a much more powerful way all of a sudden. This is also a beautiful, abundant energy, right? So anything that you're putting your time and your energy into is going to produce powerful results, whether that's in your personal life, whether that's in your per professional life. Um, <clears throat> this can be kind of that Midas touch, but it also is just like anything that you're focusing on is going to lead to uh, powerful results. So be mindful about what you're putting your time and your energy in, into and put your time and energy into those things that really excite you and that are, uh, uh, I don't know, like the, that are, are what you want in your life are what, or what you're wanting to manifest in your life, right? This isn't going to be a great month for you to spend your time not focusing on that, okay? Um, you really wanna focus on this vision of what it is that you're wanting to have happen in your life and putting energy into that. So the next card that we have here is the Nine of Water, okay? So the Nine of Water reversed here is, to me, like maybe you're not feeling so happy with your life, but I do feel like this is a gift in a lot of ways because I feel like it's forcing you to make some changes that you've kind of understood that you need to change or you want to change and this is sort of pushing it. So notice and understand that any discomfort that is showing up for you in your world is about helping you to release the things that need to be released from your life that are holding you back, that are making you unhappy um, <clears throat> and really helping you to understand what it is that you need to do to move into a life that's more in alignment with where you want to have things go. We are powerful co-creators here and we get to dictate many aspects of our lives and, and absolutely, you know, there, there are such things as divine timing and, um, you know, our, our individual life path that can impact the things that we experience and the things that show up into our experience. But we also have all of the ability to create amazing and magical things in our life, right? So this is about you getting really clear on what it is that you want and then putting energy into that. Because again, like I said, with that King of Earth energy, it will manifest for you as long as it's in alignment with your life path, uh, whether it's this month or in the near future. So the next card that we have here is 
the beggar card reversed, okay? And this to me doesn't feel like you. This feels like someone else in your life or an energy in your life where somebody is just, you know, kind of like a, a negative beggar energy, right? There's like a dependency on you um, uh, to the point that this has really crossed the line for you. You're really feeling frustrated with this. You're really feeling like, oh my God, like why can't this person just get it together, you know? Or why does this person depend on me so much? Or why does this, this might not be a person, this might be, you know, why do they depend on me so much at work? This could be a grouper of some kind or something like that. But where is this beggar energy? The, the card itself says dependence on others to the exclusion of effort, right? So dependency without the effort being produced. And again, this is something to really consider. Do I need to clear this energy out of my life? And what do I need to do to set boundaries around that so that it's working out better for me and I'm not feeling so depleted with things? Um, because like really you're not serving yourself and you're not serving that per person by continuing to uh, you know, participate in this dynamic that you guys have going on. So that beggar energy really needs to be cleared in some way or shifted or changed in some way. So the next card that we have here is the 10 of fire reversed. Okay. So the 10 of fire reversed, um, you know, I think you kind of, this to me right here is like, you just are done with the bullshit. And this is such a gift because I feel like you get just upset enough, just angry enough to say, you know what, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm no longer participating in this. And it creates such a powerful shift for you, a shift in your mindset, a shift in your attitude where you're able to release some things that maybe have been challenging for you to release in the past, right? You're recognizing like, there are things in my life that are impacting me on such a, a level of like my, uh, you know, my stress level, my, it, it's impacting my health, it's impacting my mental health, it, you know, whatever this is, but it's having such a strong negative impact on you that you're finally recognizing like, wow, I just, I can't continue to do this anymore. It's me or, or whatever this is and you choose you. That is part of the gift that you experience this month. And because of that, we have the 10 of air upright. The Ten of Air Upright is about a moving forward, the end of a really challenging situation. It's like you put your foot down or you make a change or you change your mindset on something or you change something within yourself and it helps things to move forward. Suddenly, you know, some things that have felt difficult for a long time, because I feel like this is like something that's been around a challenge for quite some time, suddenly move forward and um, you are now feeling like you can embrace these changes that are coming into your life. This can also be a recovery from an addiction. So you might consider, you know, has there been some kind of an addictive process in my life? Uh, you know, addictions come in all forms, relationships, shopping, uh, you know, drugs and alcohol, so many different forms, even, just, even in, you know, negative thinking can be an addiction. So whatever this is, but there's a recovery that's happening for you this month that is going to be really powerful for you. And ultimately this is leading to this four of fire energy, right? This is you feeling like you have solid ground underneath you. This is you feeling like you have created a solid foundation and you're feeling joyful and peaceful and, and like you are actually manifesting things. You're feeling like things are abundant and you're feeling like you have successfully completed something. You have, you know, sometimes we can have those moments where we take a look at something and we go, wow, like that was a life lesson that I needed to learn and I nailed it. I, I feel like you're going to have that I nailed it moment and not just an I nailed it moment and I nailed it future because you're stepping into whatever is next for you and I feel like you feel good about it I feel like you feel confident about it because you truly have taken the reins back to your life this is about you taking the reins back to your life the last card that we have here is the fool card and what what I feel um what stands out to me the most here with this fool card and I know for Pisces like they're can be, um, I'm a Pisces rising and there, I feel like that's a, a huge piece of where like my emotional piece of myself comes from, right? And the Fool card is here in this position, I am feeling like it's about allowing yourself to just be open to 
taking off the mask. Like you don't always have to smile or um, pretend as though you're okay. This is about you honoring your emotions and all of your emotions where you're at and sharing those as needed, communicating those as needed. And I feel like this is an important piece of how you're moving forward is like you're just being honest with yourself about how you feel you're being honest with other people about how you feel um you're asking for what you need and so this is a huge leveling up for you pisces this month so um i'm excited about that energy for you if you guys like this video make sure you hit that like button below if you want to learn more about me or about clarity you can check me out at discoveryawakening.com i will see you guys soon with another video take care guys